hello all today we are going to study a ordered sequence which is called as list in python first of all as i told you what is a list list is an ordered sequence of heterogeneous values means a list is a combination or collection of number of values which are separated by commas and all the values can be of different data types or similar data types that depends on the requirement of our question each value is have to be separated by comma and all the elements of the list are enclosed within square brackets this is the indication of a list elements in python now how to uh, now what is mutable sequence mutable sequence means that elements of the list can be changed by the programmer at any point of execution of the program it there is no restriction or constraint in changing of elements on the list now how to create a list there are three ways to create a list in python programming the first way is to use an assignment operator and enclose all the elements of the list in a square brackets in the right hand side of the assignment operator this way you can create any list of any length of any data type second way is using inbuilt method list of python you can list you can use list method like this in which you can specify the elements in the round brackets of list method or we can say as parameters of list method if the parameter list of list method is empty that means you are trying to create an empty list right now you can append or add the elements later on in this list the third way is to use an existing list so that a new list can be created you can use an existing list and you can extract some of the elements of the list and assign it to some other list by using slicing of list slicing of the list we are going to cover later on up in this session only or you can assign the list to another existing list using all the elements in this way you will be creating an aliases of the existing list now how to use or access elements of the list that you have created in your program first of all it is an there is an example given to you that a list one is there containing five elements like this as you can see on the screen all the elements are belonging to different data types there is float also there is string also with single quotes there is string also with double quotes and all the elements are separated by commas when you execute this program this statement you will be getting a list in the memory wherein there are five elements and all the elements have a definite positional value which is called as it is its index if you start from counting from right hand side the numbering or the indexing of the element will start from zero and it will move on to the positive integers and the updation will be done by plus one if you are starting counting by right hand side the indexing will start with negative numbers from minus 1 and so on so if you want to print rn only so you can use list 1 with this square bracket 0 traversing a list means using all the elements of the list in a single go you can access each of the element of the list in two ways first is using in operator likewise as you can see on the screen a for loop is being used where i have used for i in color color is again a predefined list that i have used as an example above and then it is saying print i that means i is a variable which is taking values in the list one by one and this for loop will stop iterating when all the elements of color is are exhausted that means when we have moved to the end of the list color another way out to traverse a list is using range function and for loop for range function we need to have number of elements in my list number of elements in my list can be taken as by the inbuilt method len function which will return the number of elements contained in the list color 
and then we can use raised function to print all the elements one by one as shown on the screen. Now operations on list. What are the operations that are allowed on a list? The first operation is concatenation operator. Concatenation means joining of two lists end to end. Concatenation operator works in a particular way like suppose there are two lists color and marks and suppose I want to concatenate element yellow to the list color like this. It will give an error because concatenation operator requires both is operators as list and yellow here you can see is a string. It is not a list so it will generate an error. But when you will issue this statement by enclosing yellow within square brackets, then yellow becomes a list containing a single element yellow. And yes, it can be concatenated to the list color and the resultant list that you will get is yellow will become the last element of your list color. This is very much possible. And next, as you can see, if you are having two discrete lists, you can produce a single list by concatenating all the elements of the list color plus marks. So first elements of color will be there in list 7 and then elements of marks would be there in list 7 as you can see, see in the next column which is giving output of the statement. The next operator is repetition operator or replication operator which is used to print number of elements of a list as many times as you want like in this statement this statement is printing elements of list color two times and this replication operator only works with an integer and a list if you want to you if you'll apply this repetition operator on two list you will get an error next operator is membership operator in operator we have already used above in the for loop which will check whether the element is present in the list or not and not in operator is the inversion operator of in operator and both these operators will return the value as boolean value as boolean value that means either true or false now slicing most important operator of list and you need to understand a little bit before using this operator suppose i have having this sample list list one which we have defined earlier in this session only having five elements like this suppose if i say print list all the elements of the list would be printed and if i want to apply slicing as you can see in this case slicing operator is represented by full colon and it requires three numbers three numbers why three numbers first number is starting position second number is last position minus one and third number is updation that how we'll get next value after starting with the starting value so if i say list one one is to six is to two in this case what the programmer wants to say that you have to start with element at position one so element at position 1 is listed. Then the next element which, which would be printed is element present at position number 3. Because the updation you have chosen as plus 2. So the next element at position number 3 which is blue is printed. And the next element you want to print is 3 plus 2, 5. But 5 is not present. So your printing will stop here only. Next list 1 is to 4. Here I have skipped the last element. If the last element is skipped or the updation is skipped, the by default it is plus one. So this implements that you have to start with element at position number one and you have to move on till position number three with updation of plus one. That means element at position number one is printed, then two is printed and three is printed and you have to stop here only. Now next case, when you have skipped all the two, and you are specifying only the first one that means you are specifying the starting position and the printing will move on till the last element of the list and by default the updation will be plus one that means when you say three colon the element at position number three will be printed then element at position number four will be printed and because your list is exhausted so your printing will start stop here only 
and if i am skipping the first and second value i am only specifying the last value that means the first value by default would be zero the last value will be by default the last position of your list so you can see whole of the list is being printed fine now here list 5 colon aapne the all the last two positions are skipped only first is mentioned that means the starting position you want to print is 5 but 5 and position number 5 is not there in the list so you will be getting an empty list so this is the summary of operators and introduction of list and creation of list in python thank you